Steve, uh, final game week, uh, are you excited or what's kind of the mindset going into the, your game one? Uh, I'm very excited. I mean, we've been working. I mean, ever since uh, the winter, since January, all the way to now. So I'm excited, man. A lot of energy, a lot of emotions, uh, ready to get to it. Yeah. Well, this year you're obviously going in with a starting spot, you know, kind of locked down. Last year you kind of had to work your way into that spot. Is it feeling different or kind of that, how to kind of change your kind of mindset going into the season? Uh, same mindset that I always had. I mean, just keep working. I mean, just because uh, my role has changed uh, a bit, that don't mean like come in and be like, you know, like sort of complacent. complacent yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. So just come out here and get better every day. So same mindset that I always had. Kyle talked about going against you at practice. Can you talk about going against him and how much of a pain in the butt he is, I guess, to go <laughs> on one-on-one? -on -one? Uh, yeah, uh, he's a great receiver, man. I mean, I, everybody seen it, the world seen it last year, man. So he just, he just get me better. So I. I love the challenge, man. I like to come out here and compete and get better every day. So, and what you've seen from Portland State, at least on the offensive side of the ball so far? Oh, uh, they have a great quarterback, man, and uh, they're a pretty hungry team. So, we got to come in Saturday ready to compete, which I know we will be. Don't take them. We're not the guys who take people lightly. So, we focus. We ready. For you, you kind of look across. Uh, Ethan kind of looks like he's got a pretty good uh, handle on that uh, second cornerback job. Just what have you seen from him as kind of one of the veteran guys? Um, he's. He's just, his growth, man, he just got way, he's way more mature, like, from last year, man. He put in a lot of work. Um, all of us have, though, as a group, not just him, but he has, we all just put in a lot of work, man. I'm proud of him. I'm proud of everybody in the group. Wanted to specifically ask, too, about uh, Kenny and Jalen, you know, potentially taking on now bigger roles with uh, Jamori nicked up. Just what have you seen kind of how they've grown, even since the spring when they first got here? Um, like I said, they're getting more mature, too, now. Um, their game is changing, man. They taking in the coaching and just the de the little details every day, man. It's just, it's exciting to see them get better, man. What does it mean to you to be named a captain this week? Uh, it means a lot, man, because that means coach has a lot of trust in me, man. So I don't take it lightly, man. I take that very serious. And I'm, uh, I'm excited, man. I appreciate him for giving me the opportunity. Um, entering that that role as a captain, does that kind of change kind of any anything that you do any any way that you go about your business? And what's kind of your mindset and goals with that role? Uh, to be a, uh, be a leader at all times, man. Because like I say, I got a lot of younger guys in the group, and not just on the group, but on the team, man. They're just looking at me and how I come out here every day, man. Just show them the right ways. Just come out here and work like work every day, man. We're talking about iron, iron sharpens iron. Um, how do you think that kind of you guys as a as a secondary have improved John Matier's arm and kind of in the same way as has he kind of tested you guys as well? Oh yeah, he's a like a, he's a good quarterback, man. But uh, we believe in our game too, so we feel like we come out here, we talk a little trash to John. But uh, yeah, he um, we he he throws some great balls on us. We make some great plays on him, but it's needed, though, man. It's needed. It'll help us in the long run.